nature likes low energy. So reactions can occur because they would produce products with lower energy. So there's this natural direction change. Um, we want low stored energy. So most reactions that are spontaneous are exothermic because you have reactants with more energy than the products. And so they tend to be exothermic. However, endothermic reactions can also be spontaneous. So enthalpy is only one of our ways of determining if a reaction will take place spontaneously or not. Um, so the sign of H, or the value, positive or negative, helps us guide the direction of the change, but it's not always reliable, so you have to think about entropy. Entropy, E-N-T-R-O-P-Y. Entropy is the other driving force of reactions, and that measures how chaotic it becomes. So nature likes low energy, but it also likes lots of disorder, lots of chaos. Um, and so in the picture here, we can see that it's very chaotic in that Entropy Institute. So an endothermic reaction can be spontaneous if the products create more disorder. And when we think of disorder, we think of them being more moles of gas, because remember, gases are going to go everywhere. They have a lot of energy um, with them. They're just moving around rapid and randomly. So endothermic reactions, the reactants, or the products are more stable than the reactants because they're lower energy. Endothermic reactions, the reactants have the lower energy and are more stable, but it could still occur because of that increase of disorder.